Um, okay, I'm gonna get started. Um, hold on, let's go here first. Sorry, I kind of look like a mess today because I haven't showered yet because I've been busy all day. But I'm gonna shower after the stream and before I go to bed. Oh, I also have to finish. Shoot, hold on. I'm. I need to feed my Snorlax. That's very important in Pokemon Sleep. I only have like 20 more minutes to do that. But I did see that Magical is here in the chat, uh, and they say that uh, when I was mentioning Disadventure Camp, Camp on Thursday, I forgot to mention that, that the order to watch the seasons was season two first, and season one, then finally season three. Okay, interesting. That's good to know. Thank you. Uh, no worries for bringing up at the beginning. That's good to know. Thank you. Sorry, I am doing things kind of in the wrong order. I meant to feed my Snorlax before starting the stream, but then, like, my brain just got so frazzled. So I'm going to finish doing this really quick. It's only going to take, like, a minute. Um, what do I want to do here? Hmm. Can just dump these. Hmm. Uh, da, 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 da. Sorry. Let's do. Okay. How is everyone doing? I'm so sorry that I'm all over the place. I um, really just want to play Stardew Valley tonight. Um, I'm actually, I have some ideas for the stream that I want to do in the near future. And by near future, I'm like thinking about tomorrow. Um, I know I haven't done a Sunday stream in a really long time, but I have a lot of ideas that I've been like kind of cooking in the back of my head for a while and they're not fully finished cooking. I'm still kind of workshopping a couple of these ideas, but I wanted to give them a try and I think... Uh, I think that it could be fun, potentially, for both me and for the stream. Magical, you just woke up. Um, what time is it for you? It's like almost 10 o'clock at night for me. That's so crazy that you just woke up. Good morning, evening, everyone. Jay is here as well. Hello, Jay. Welcome. Welcome back, I should say. Um... Okay, I'm done being distracted. I will not be distracted by my phone anymore. I couldn't find my phone. That's why I took so long to st start the stream. I was like getting ready to sit down and start the stream at like nine-ish, like nine ten, And I was like, okay, I'm ready. Let me just grab my phone and, oh wait, where is my phone? And I couldn't find it. And then I spent like 20 minutes searching around for it. And apparently it's on silent because I like tried calling it from my computer and had a friend also call it and I couldn't hear it. So apparently it was on silent, but eventually I found it because it was just under my bed. Of course it was because I had just like changed my sheets. So again, apologies that I look like a mess. Mainly I just want to play Stardew Valley. So I'm going to switch over to this screen because at least my face is a little smaller and you can, it's harder to tell how much of a mess I am. Um, mostly I just want to play Stardew Valley. I am going to, I figured I could like adjust the screen a little bit here just to make it, oh gosh, okay, okay, OBS, hello, um, after midnight for me, it's one of those resting my eyes for a few minutes and then dozed off, okay, so you're gonna go back to sleep, I presume. Um, okay, that's fine. That's, that works. Um, well, I hope that you don't stay up just for my sake. I hope that, um, you know, you are staying up for good reasons, <laughs> whatever that may be. Uh, also, Jay, I don't know if I acknowledged this or noticed this before, but I just switched over to my YouTube tab and 
I think your name is green and there's a star next to it because you're a YouTube member. And if that's the case, that's awesome. Thank you so much. I know I haven't um, been doing too many crazy things on YouTube lately, but your support means a lot to me. And I have been thinking of ways to, sorry, I know that, <laughs> I know that I said I wanted to just play Stardew. I've been, I've been thinking of ways too to also continue working on videos. Um, some ideas I want to float around in the Discord potentially. Um, because I think that like doing stuff on stream, like it's it, it helps me zone my attention in on one thing. Like obviously playing Stardew Valley, it's a very easy thing to like zone your attention in on. But you know, we, we've done streams on other stuff before. We've done streams where we've just been talking before. So um, I feel like the stream environment helps me like focus on the thing in front of me. And so I figured like maybe I can like tie you guys into the video making process. But the thing is I don't want to do those streams on YouTube and I don't want to do those streams on Twitch because I don't want just like anyone to be able to come in and like see what I'm working on and see like my process and what I'm doing but like I trust my audience and like I trust you know especially you guys that like show up and support me and stuff so like I don't know that's why I was thinking like maybe discord but also I know that not everyone is in the discord so it's tricky right i have to figure out some way to figure it out but i'll i'll think about that if anyone does have any ideas let me know um magical says i was watching reaction videos and then fell asleep by the time i woke up i saw a notification for your live stream oh well thank you for joining that means a lot to me um like i said if you ever feel like you need to go back to sleep please don't let me keep you up please go to bed i 100 percent encourage sleep at all times <laughs> um jay says i know all too many good creators that stop making things for lack of funding and i have enough expendable income that is very sweet yeah you know i have been also thinking in the back of my head that i do want to try like taking youtube a bit more seriously and like for lack of a better term like building the brand a little bit and like trying to not necessarily like grow my audience i don't really care about like numbers that much you know but i want to like cultivate some i don't want to i don't even really want to say community really but like that's kind of the closest word that i have to it and i want to be able to like make stuff for people sorry i know i said again that <laughs> i was gonna just play stardew but i'm going off on this tangent now um yeah i want to be able to just like make stuff and so like there there have been like thoughts and, and dreams and maybe plans vague plans oops vague plans to um try to make youtube a thing so the fact that i already know that people like uj um are willing to expend a little bit for uh for people like me that makes me feel very loved and supported so thank you very much it means a lot to me anyway that being said let's get into some stardew valley i haven't played at all since the last time we played and it's the start of summer um we technically can make the basic sprinklers so i think we did make a few of those in the last stream and we need to go buy crops obviously so let me take a sip of water because that was a lot of talking and then we'll go ahead and do that. Ugh, all right. I don't know how long the stream is going to be. Probably just like a couple hours at most because it is quite late. <sighs> Maybe even less than that. But I appreciate all of you stopping by nonetheless. All right, game loves to take its time loading though. After all that, after all that talking, it's just complete silence. I hope that the game volume is like okay too. I haven't actually gone in and watched the VOD and double check that. So hopefully it's good. I'm literally just going off the visual of my um, streaming software. 
but let's check the weather now that the game is here. It's going to be in clear and sunny tomorrow, of course. Uh, summer, so it's not going to rain much. Spirits are no today. That's okay. We're just doing some farming. Uh, summer's here, along with a whole slew of new crops to plant. Take hops, for example. The vines take a while to grow, but once they're mature, they can be harvested every day. Good luck. Okay, cool. So now we know. Um, hopefully our game doesn't get too laggy. Let's start by clearing some of this stuff out. We got our ancient fruit still growing, which is super exciting. Two of them even. Uh, we had some sprinklers somewhere. We had three sprinklers. We already had nine melon seeds. Uh, and we have a ton of basic fertilizer that I made. We do want to try to get the quality crops bundle we already missed our window for the parsnips I, it just totally slipped my mind and you know what i also kind of realized which is kind of a bummer um there is like an alternate version ish of the community center that you can like select as a setting at the beginning of the game and i didn't realize that that was a thing you could do and if i realized that that's something i probably would have done um because I've done this community center uh, like several times already. So it would have been nice to have something new. Uh, so if anyone knows of a mod or something that lets me switch the, to the other community center quest, uh, even though I already started my save file, I would be potentially interested in that because I am also looking into doing mods of this game. I think, uh, I think that could be good. Uh, so let's put one sprinkler, like, here. And then one, like, here. Because we've already got a lot of hoed spots kind of around here. Uh, does that make sense? I guess I should go one more. Uh, right? Yeah, it should go one more. It should be, like, here. And then this one should be here. Okay. And then um, let's move the scarecrow to. Um, the scarecrow will put here, I think. And then here, I think, is where I want to grow the melons. Because I do want to try to grow the melons in a, a, a row of three. Because there will be a chance to get giant melons, if I'm remembering that correctly. Oops. So we have to go, like... Like that. So the melons I am going to be watering manually, unfortunately, because the sprinklers are not able to do much more. But how many melons do we want to grow? Let's uh, stop there for now. Okay, that should be enough hoeing. Let's get our fertilizer down. Uh, and we'll put fertilizer around here too. Might as well. Oh, I should hoe one more spot uh, above this. And I think the Scarecrow should reach those crops. It's like 16 or something, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, we should be fine. Uh, cool. Let's go to Pierre's. Um, sorry, I've been ignoring the chat. Before I forget, Magical says, I saw on social media that the Mystery Shack website is opening on April 2nd with a few new items. One of those new items being Ryan and Mingy plushies. Oh, that's awesome. I'll have to check that out. I don't have a ton of expendable income right now, but um, <clears throat> I will, I do want to see them. 
Uh, have I done the hidden bundle? I ha uh, is that the one that's like after the community center with the, uh, is it the movie theater? I think I unlocked it, but I can't remember if I completed it. Uh, but anyway, Jazz's birthday is coming up on Thursday. So I don't think I have anything that she loves. We don't have any requests on the board, so let's just go in and buy our seeds. So melon seeds. Um, maybe like 18 more. That should hopefully give us like five gold ones, right? 18 plus nine is 27, right? <laughs> um, and then let's see, what else do we have here? We have a lot of seeds actually. A lot that I want to grow. I think blueberry is going to be good. And tomatoes. Uh, poppies are one of Penny's favorite gifts. I really can't be so fixated on Penny, honestly, because like I said, my goal is to marry everyone in this save file and one by one systematically marry and divorce and erase their memories like a complete lunatic um which i totally acknowledge is crazy but i can't be so fixated on penny because even though she is the love of my life i i can't i can't fulfill my quest of marrying everyone if i'm so fixated on her i would have to restart okay that's a bummer um, I guess next time I play, I will try to do the other community center. Uh, maybe a thing of corn would be good. Hops. Uh, if I could get, like, one more sprinkler, I would... Okay, let's do this. Let's Because I'm not going to do a ton of farming, I guess, this save file, so... Uh, that's not going to be our focus here. So we're, let's do two tomatoes two blueberries and that's going to be four for one sprinkler and then one pepper we won't do wheat i don't think we need to do wheat uh one radish one hop one corn so that's one two three four that's another sprinkler uh, what else do we want? Do we want to do a wheat? We don't, I don't think wheat is that smart to do. Um, let's see. Sunflower. What is a hop? Um, you know, that's a great question. I know that in this game, you can put hops into kegs and it makes ale, if I remember correctly. So supposedly it's something that makes ale. Yeah, hops. I, I, I think, I don't actually know what hops look like in real life, though. In this game, it looks like kind of a weird vegetable, but apparently it's used to make ale. Um, uh, maybe we do, maybe we just do four blueberries on one sprinkler and then like two tomatoes and two peppers on the other sprinkler and like one, two, three, uh, what's one more that we can do? Um, let's just do a sp spangle. Actually, we should, we should do poppy. We should do poppy and then put a bird, uh, not a bird house, a uh, bee house next to it once we can make one. Because we do need to build a bee house to put honey in the bundle. So I think that is a good spread for now. We still have 7,000 bucks though. So, you know, we should be, we should try to 
hopefully make more sprinklers. But really, I don't want to waste too many resources making the small sprinklers because the next level sprinklers are just like so much better. So I don't want to waste too much. Oh, I miscounted. We gotta do six more. Oh my gosh, why am I not? There we go. Okay. Uh, melons. Yeah, melons all in a row, in a row of three. And then we'll do... We'll do the hop down at the bottom because it's going to be solid and we can't walk through it. Um, and then we'll do the corn down here at the bottom too. Put that one here. The, s the poppy we'll put at the side so that we can put the bee house um, next to it. And then the radish we'll put at the top here. And then here we'll do the two peppers and the two tomatoes. And then up top we'll do the four blueberries. And the spangle we'll just save for later. But I think that is a good enough spread for the start. Normally, I would go a lot harder on the farming. But we also have, like, these chickens already, which is, like, a huge start. That is one of the benefits of this new farm layout. We still only have the basic watering can because I haven't been focused much on farming. I think, you know, I've been thinking about it and I think regardless of the fact that we still have chickens and like this, this farm layout is meant to be more animal focused. I think we still are just going to go with the artisan profession. Because a lot of the animal products get made into artisan good and goods anyway. So I feel like there's no point in not choosing that. Uh, I help my dad with harvesting hops. They make your hands all scratchy and sticky. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I've, I don't think I've ever seen them in real life, but that's cool that you help your dad harvesting them. Let's check on our chickens while we're at it. And maybe we should s start investing in more animals. Because we're getting gold star quality eggs already. And I'm sure the um, the blue grass is making a difference. Let some of the grass grow more, honestly. I don't have my pickaxe right now because I gave that to Clint. Hello, chickens. Um, let's start selling the gold quality eggs. I think that's a good plan. Also, those eggs I should put in the... The other eggs I should put in the mayo maker. Alright. Um, what do we do now? We can't go mining because we don't have our pickaxe. Uh, let's see what bundles we can work on. Artisan. Uh, yeah, let's, I guess, go see Marnie. Let's go see Marnie and see if she has animals for us. 
Because we already have a coop. I can't remember like if there are prerequisites to getting animals besides just having a coop. This is my first time hearing about hops as well. Yeah, I guess they're not... I don't know. Yeah, I just don't know much about them. I, I shouldn't speak on things that I'm ignorant about. Marnie! Why are you not working? Is she seriously, like, not open? 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Oh my goodness. Okay, fine. Fine. Fair enough. Uh, what should we do? Did you plan to build a barn so you can get more animals? Oh yeah, I did want to build a barn. We already built the silo and the well. I can't remember what it takes to build a barn. But you know what? We should maybe... Um, Cut down some trees. That might be a good use of our time. Because if we are going to build a barn, I think we do need wood. So I've been just kind of wandering around. But yeah, let's go cut some trees. Also because I, I do want to upgrade my axe as soon as possible. So... I don't know how long we'll have it for right now, so we might as well cut the trees. And then hopefully by the time we get our axe back, it'll, you know, get the trees a chance to respawn too. Uh, hops grow on vines. Uh, Jay says hop grow hops grow on vines, similar to grapes, but not in bunches. They're occasionally used in tea, but mostly for brewing beer and are poisonous to dogs and cats. Wow, okay, so interesting. We're learning so much today. Thank you, Jay, for educating us on hops. Didn't grow up on a farm, but had chickens, bees, and a real big veggie patch. Cool. Oh, what's... Oh, this, this tree gave us moss. Oh, that's so cool. I've been wondering how you get moss because I hadn't seen it yet, and I knew that it was required for crafting for the deluxe bait so that's cool so moss just like grows on trees and stuff that's interesting all right i'm running out of energy i gotta drink some mayonnaise as you do for energy you know i'm sure jay understands you know having grown up on a real big veggie patch how sometimes you have to drink mayonnaise for energy I'm sure that's super common I should probably start thinking about a different food source though because once my mayonnaise starts becoming like good quality then I want to start selling it instead of just drinking it there's like better things to use for energy uh i think moss grows on the north side of trees not sure if that's always true huh I feel like I learned something like that when I was a child, but I don't know. Many things I learned as a child ended up not being true. And also I misremembered a lot of things that I learned as a child, so who even knows what the truth is. But that sounds kind of right. Like, can't you use moss to kind of navigate? 
where to go, like, if you get lost. Uh, mostly true, but only in the northern hemis hemisphere. Okay, so does that mean in the southern hemisphere? It's, like, on the south side? Or, you know, do they just say, fuck all the rules and do whatever they want? Because that's what I would do. I would grow on whichever side I felt like. Okay, we should probably head back soon. We'll do one more tree. I don't know if our foraging is close to leveling up. I would hope so. Oops. Let me go. All right, back to the farm. We got 239 wood just from that little excursion. Ugh, we could have also been chopping trees on the farm, too, just to start clearing out some of the space. But uh, those trees will at least respawn after a while. These ones just go away. Yeah, so we're getting, like, gold star quality mayonnaise now. 90 energy, 40 health. Which is less than double. And I think I would rather sell... I think I'd rather sell it than continue to use it for energy. Uh, south side on the south side. Caves, rivers, and canopies can change it up, though. That would make sense. I mean, I imagine they're trying to, like, get at the sun at a certain angle, right? Okay. Let's go sleep. Yeah, no level ups. A little bit of money from our farming. <laughs> My steel pickaxe is ready, so we can go pick that up. Sunny tomorrow. Spirits are displeased today. Great. Thank you. Uh, our gold star mayonnaise. Our sprinklers. Uh, we do still have to water, manually water our ancient fruit, though. Because I planted them next to each other. When I should have planted them in the way that a sp one sprinkler could have gotten both. <laughs> oh, well. Mistakes are inevitable in life and in Stardew Valley. But it's not so bad. Okay. Uh, so yeah, not a lucky day today. So we probably won't go to the mines even though our pickaxe is ready. Um, although fishing on good luck days is apparently very beneficial for us because I did manage to find a dinosaur egg, which is crazy. Um, I don't know if Jay was here for the last time I talked about it, but fi I did find a dinosaur egg when I was playing this game. Like, I played, like, two or three days off stream, and I found this freaking dinosaur egg while fishing in a treasure chest, and that's just so crazy to have found this early in the game. Uh, I don't think... Maybe we just, like, make some more copper bars for a bit. Uh, let's go check out Marnie. Marnie opens at... <laughs> it's just this most days. It doesn't tell us which days. I think Tuesdays, though, she's not open because she goes to, the, like, the Pilates class. So we can't even do that. Um... Mm. Let's check the calendar, see if there are any missions... We know Jazz's birthday is coming up, but I don't think we have anything that she likes. 
Oh, we can start getting summer forageables now, which is good. We are going to need that for the bundle. I'm looking for someone to bring me 30 copper ores as part of a local geological survey. 300 gold on delivery. You can keep the ores after Clint inspects them. Okay. I don't know how many ores we had. I don't think it was 30, though. I think I just used a bunch. <laughs> like, literally just now making those bars. So maybe we do just go to the mines just to get some more copper, just for that mission. We only have 21. So... And we have 27 copper bars. Yeah, we don't need to make any more copper for a minute. Maybe we give him our axe, Ugh, but we don't have enough iron. We, ha we need to go get more iron too. Okay, hold on. Let's take a look at the community center too. Let's figure out what we want to do. So we've already got the melons in progress. Hopefully we get five. That's just going to be a luck based thing. We just have to hope we get at least five. Um, oh, we okay. We can do a brown big egg, right? We have one? Uh, I don't have one. I think I just put it in the mayo maker like a fool because I didn't Again, mistakes are inevitable. Uh, <laughs> we do eventually have to get this other stuff, but Marnie's not going to be home, so we can't do anything about that now. Uh, one of these fruit is at least in progress. I think the orange is in progress. We do have to level up our foraging so that we can make a tapper. Oops, I meant to say this one. So that we can get the ingredients to craft a bee house. Yeah, there's a lot we need to do here. Tomatoes. We do have all these also in progress, so that's fine. And fall crops is going to be in fall. Okay. Um... Yeah, we also need the tapper for these, uh, which are going to be the easiest thing probably out of all of this. Uh, it's okay. You will find the things for your bundles eventually. Yes, we will. We will eventually. And, and like, I tried, I like trying to finish the community center in the first year of the game, but there's no penalty for not doing it. So there's really no rush. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Uh, we do have one spice berry. We could try to go for the other forageables. Fish tank. Oh, yeah. Some of these fish, some of these ocean fish are. Uh, next time you're at Marnie's, check for the catalog. It lets you shop there while she's away. Okay. Yeah, that's huge. I'll have to check for that. Um, I, I remember the tuna has like a weird specific window of time that it's available. I can't remember what the deal is with these other two, but I should probably figure that out. I don't think we can get any of these yet. Catfish. Maybe we can get some of these now. I think walleye we should be able to get too, right? Sturgeon also has something weird about it that I can't remember. Okay, but we'll deal with the fish another time. This we do also have to do. The Adventures Bundle. The Adventures Bundle. So that we can unlock the mine cards. That's definitely a priority. Uh, bulletin board. Can we do anything? The poppy is in progress. We do have to upgrade our axe to get the fiddlehead fern. Uh, apple. We we need to buy an apple tree. I think we have hay already. Oh, frick. We do need wheat. We did need the wheat. 
We need 10 wheat. And we do need a sunflower too. Okay, I'm glad I'm checking this. Uh, and a duck. I think I have a red mushroom. Chub? That should be easy. Okay. Pomegranate. So we need apples and pomegranates. Okay. Um, maybe let's go do the... Uh, do we want to do the wheat right now? Should we wait for our, uh, farming to level up? I can't remember when we get the better sprinklers. Because I also know that wheat doesn't take very long to grow. And I don't want to have to do more watering than I have to already. So I guess let's wait on that. Let, yeah, let's go to the mines. Let's go to Clint. And then let's go to the mines. I do want to finish that bundle that unlocks the minecarts like as soon as possible. So... Rockets fan. Hello. Thanks so much for stopping by. I don't think I have seen your username before. If you're new, then welcome. Thanks so much for being here. I hope you like Stardew Valley because that's what we're doing right now. Got a sweet pea off the ground right there. Clint. Please give me my pickaxe, please. Cool. All right, let's head towards the mines. Got some algae, nice. New, but I've been in the Discord server for a while. Oh, okay, cool. That's awesome. Actually, because you have been in the Discord server for a while, I know that it's pretty quiet in there. Like, it's not super active, which is like, you know, it doesn't have to be popping all the time. I'm not, like, sad about it or anything. But I have been also thinking, you know, as I've been thinking of ideas for the stream, I've also been thinking of ideas for Discord and, like, how to improve it and stuff. So, like... I might be making like a survey or something soon that allows people to give me feedback on what they would like to see in the Discord server. So I'm just throwing that out there for right now just to throw it out there. Um, let's go to like level 10. I, I need to get some copper. Oh, it's showing me the progress. It's so it's it said two out of thirty. So I guess it does have to be new copper. I do need slimes. I don't know how far down those other items are for the adventures bundle. I don't remember th which monsters specifically drop those and how far down the mines they are. I know that they are in these mines, though, I'm pretty sure. We're probably going to get a lot more monsters because it is a bad luck day. Like these freaking moles. Okay, there we go. Oh, there's more of you, you freaking... Oh, he dropped a geode. 
That's pretty cool. Oh, there's a ladder too. We're getting a couple amethysts. Oh, there's two amethysts. Abigail will love these. She loves to eat them. We do also have to start giving gifts to people because a lot of good recipes and craftables come from friendship. Just like real life. Okay, 18 out of 30 copper. That is a very nice little quality of life upgrade. The fact that it shows you the progress as you're progressing. Uh, do you gain energy if you eat amethyst? Um, no. The reason I'm saying that she loves to eat them is like... So the NPCs have like... Kind of generic dialogue, right? Like, they'll kind of say the same thing no matter what. So like, a lot of the gifts that uh abigail likes are like food items so like i think she likes like pumpkins or something right so like if you give her a pumpkin she'll say like oh wow this pumpkin looks delicious or like this pumpkin looks so good it makes me so hungry or something like that right like i forget the exact line of dialogue um but the thing is she also says the same thing if you give her an amethyst she's like oh wow this amethyst is so good it makes me so hungry so it's just like kind of funny that her dialogue makes it seem like she's gonna eat the amethyst uh but she probably doesn't actually eat it it's just one of those rpg dialogue quirks Abigail's built different. She eats rocks. Yeah, she, she's just built different. She just likes to eat rocks. Who am I to judge? Who am I to judge a girl who likes to eat rocks? Uh, unfortunately, I cannot eat rocks. If I could, they probably would give a lot of energy. Okay, we're 29 out of 30. We just need one more. <laughs> oh, there we go. 30 out of 30. Beautiful. Uh, all right, let's go to a lower level of the mines. I want to make progression. I need to get more iron. It's 5.30 p.m. in the game. It's 10.30 p.m. in real life. That is quite late. But you know what? It's Saturday night. And what better way to party on a Saturday night than slicing this bat with a sword. I can't think of anything more fun. Okay. Okay, slime. Slimes. Ooh, we dropped the ladder too. Alright, need to get some iron. These are kind of a spooky atmosphere to these levels. Like, there's no music right now. <laughs> it's like very eerie. A lot of bats. More bats. 
Okay, I don't know if we're going to be able to make it to 50 at this rate. It's already 8 p.m. Ah! That's... I don't know where the ladder is. getting that scary feeling as well. Yeah, isn't it like kind of eerie? This isn't even like a spooky level. Oh, I need to drink some mayo. Like there's light and everything here. Like it's not even supposed to be spooky, but yet there's just a creepy where is the ladder? I'm getting attacked by bats. It would be great if this bat dropped the ladder. Nope, of course not. Uh, because it's a bad luck day. That's why we're not finding the ladder. Oh my god, really? We're like... Okay, finally. Goodness gracious. Ah, all right. It's already 10 p.m. We should probably start thinking about leaving. I do want a little bit more iron, though, because I would love to be able to upgrade my axe. Is there any more iron on this level? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, this is why you don't go to the mines on a bad luck day, because you don't get anything. And you barely make any progress. We did at least get the copper that we need for the mission, so we should go talk to Clint again tomorrow and get our reward. Okay, yeah, we should... Oh, there's a little bit more. Ah, uh, we need to leave. It's 11 p.m. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's good. We'll leave. Leave the mine. Let's go home. We got seven more slime. I don't know what our total is that we have currently, but we need 99 for the bundle. Grab that spice berry while we're at it. Uh, kind of off topic, no worries, but Amphibia and Owl House were both mentioned in Matt Pat's last film theory video. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've been meaning to watch uh, some of his final videos because, like, I obviously used to watch game theory back, you know, in the day, but I uh, haven't in a really long time. Like, in a really long time. Uh, I haven't. Like, maybe several years, right? Uh, so, of course, I saw his announcement that he was going to be retiring. And, you know, I don't blame him. He has been doing this for a really, really long time. And he deserves it. He has worked really hard. I respect him, like, as a creator. He's done really amazing work and, you know, built a really impressive empire and community, um, which is awesome. It's so, so cool. So I've been meaning to go back and watch some of his later videos, and that's really cool that he mentioned Amphibia and Owl House. I'll have to see in what context. Okay, I need to put this stuff away. Uh, what do I do with this crab? What do I do with you, crab? I'll put you here. Oh, this star fruit we need to plant too. I totally forgot about this. Okay, what does it take to craft another sprinkler? Uh, one copper and one iron, which we could make. Let 
which we could make. Because if we could plant that starfruit, that would be really nice. But maybe we just plant the starfruit here and add it along with our manual watering. Okay, here we go. Yeah, let's just do that. I don't need to waste my iron on sprinklers right now. Okay, it's 1 a.m. We need to go to sleep. <laughs> Uh, what will Matt Pat do now that he's retired? Yeah, he'll spend time with his son and wife. Yeah, exactly. Rocket, Rockets fan. And it, like, it seems like he's going to be doing some other projects and stuff too. Like, I, didn't he mention in his video that he was going to be doing like a, a musical or a play or something like that? Like he uh, used to do theater before he did YouTube. So it makes a lot of sense that he would be wanting to go venture off and do other creative uh, other creative endeavors. Uh, there was an earthquake during the night, apparently. Interesting. I forgot what that means. Does that mean we got a meteor on the farm? It's possible. Yeah, what could an earthquake mean? Of course, it's sunny tomorrow. The fortune teller says the spirits are neutral. Okay, I'll take neutral. We've had bad luck lately, so neutral is good. Hmm. Uh, I should organize a little bit. All right, we got a water. Uh, the cleared the landslide to the north. Oh. That's like to the spa area and the train tracks. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. I think we can take some stuff to the community center. We can take that. Uh, we should probably go check Marnie's today, too. See if we can get that catalog. This is embarrassing. I lost my lucky purple shorts. Oh, no, Lewis. I'm telling you because I think I can trust you. If you can find them, please bring them back to me discreetly. I'll pay well. Wow. Wow, Lewis. Wow. He's asking me to find his undies. How embarrassing. Uh, we have 62 slime right now, so we need about 30 something. I cannot do basic arithmetic in my head. We need about 30 something more slimes for the bundle. Uh, yeah. Let's... Uh, oh, that's right. We have to talk to Clint for this, too. Let's head to Marnie's first. And then we'll go into town. We'll talk to Clint. And then from there, maybe just go back to the mines to get more iron. Thirty-seven? Wait, what does thirty-seven mean? Sorry, sometimes I say something and then like the chat responds to something I said and then I like forget what I originally said. So I'm sorry if I should know what thirty-seven means, but I don't think I do. Is there anything down here worth in 
investigating. I know in the spring we get onions here, but it doesn't look like there's anything. Oh, 37 more slimes. Oh my gosh. Yes, of course. Duh. Thank you. Oh yeah, Robin's axe is here. I keep forgetting about that. We should give that back to her too. I have really terrible memory sometimes, if that wasn't already abundantly clear. But thank you for helping me with math. All right, Marnie, are you... Oh my god, Jazz, please. <laughs> Marnie, okay. Uh, supply shop, let's take a look. Uh, oh, dog house, that's new. Dark dog house. These are so cute. Cat trees. Those are also new. Those are super cute. Okay. Uh, purchase animals. Looks like we can only get chickens right now. Okay, we need to construct a big coop first. Ugh, okay, this is so much work. Deluxe coop, barn, bar big barn, deluxe barn. Okay, we need to do... Uh, we need to do Robin first, actually. So let's go into town. Let's talk to Clint and get our reward. Jazz's birthday is tomorrow. I still don't know what gift we're going to give her. Hopefully she doesn't see me rifling through the trash. There's Vincent. Uh, there's a mod called To-Do List that adds an in-game to-do list maker. Yeah, I've been, like, thinking about mods and, like, looking into mods recently. Uh, so if you have any suggestions for mods, that sounds like a great one to look into. Because I am so incredibly forgetful. Oh, this is a weird glitch. I don't think that this stack of money is supposed to be outside of the square, but that's very interesting. Okay. Uh, we can go to Robin. Give her her axe. Check how much things cost while we're there. I mean, I could pull it up on the wiki, but we need to go give her her axe anyway, so we might as well do two things at once, and then uh, head back into the mines, since that is the general direction we'll be going in. Piers is closed on Wednesday. I'm not even going to try. Uh, we do have things we can drop off at the community center. We might as well do that right now. Uh, no, not this one. This one. Uh, da, 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 da. Summer foraging. We got one of you. We got one of you. And we do still need to find a grape. Which I think we can also plant and grow. So it's not as big of a deal if we don't get that right now. Uh, I think it was Emily's bundle for the mushroom. Cool. Uh, Ridgeside Valley and Stardew Valley Expanded are amazing mods, but add a game's worth of content. You still can be able to... Yeah, I've heard about Stardew Valley Expanded, um, and that is also what I've heard about it, is that it's just, like, a ton more stuff. Um... I still haven't even gotten to, like, the Ginger Island stuff from 1.5. So that's part of why I haven't really looked into mods that, like, add more content yet. Because, like, there's already so much content in the game itself that I haven't gotten to. Uh, okay. Barn is 6,000. So we can afford that, at least if I had brought my wood and stone. I don't know if we have enough stone, actually. I think we do have enough wood. So we could do a barn. Where's the deluxe 
coop. Okay, big coop is 10,000 gold. Okay. So we should probably do the barn first because it's cheaper. Let's let's run back to the farm. And you know what? While we're at the farm, oh, there's grapes here. Nice. While we're at the farm, we might as well grab a strawberry and start giving gifts to Maru. I think that might be a good idea. Strawby. We have 36 strawberries, so we have plenty of gifts that we can give her. Maru might end up being our first marriage candidate this way, and I totally forgot to give her the axe, but it's fine. We need to grab our wood and stone. Oh, we have plenty for at least one building. Cool. Robin Axe. Yes, thank you for the reminder. We'll have to give her her axe back. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll make enough progress in the mines to reach the next checkpoint. But I think that's okay. We are doing a lot today. Okay, Robin. Let's construct a barn. Um, build. Where do we want to build this? We could theoretically put it in the same area as the coop. It doesn't quite fit like next to it, but it kind of fits like under it. Uh, not really, because it's going to block the entrance to the coop if I put it here. I could put it like here, but that's eh, probably too close. Where else can we? We really haven't. Oh, there's so much space. We really haven't cleared out a lot of space here. Huh. Where do we want to put this? Maybe we want to put it down here so it's not too far from us. Uh, but it's not near the grass. It should probably be near the grass somewhere. Oh, we can do it like here. It's kind of in, in an awkward position. But that's okay. Uh, okay, let's give you your axe back. Great! 250 gold for that. And we can give Maru a gift. Cool. Alright, let's go to the mines. And we'll just do a little bit more digging around, as you do. And then once we go back to the farm, I think we should probably also start just like clearing out the farm and making space for things to be a bit more organized instead of just placing things wherever we can place them. Start thinking about like a layout. I really haven't taken a look at, like, what the rest of the farm looks like, though, besides just, like, that top area. Getting more slime. Ugh, we have neutral luck today, but we're still 
having a hard time. There we go. Okay, getting some more iron, which is good. Oops. Are there any slimes here? Any slimes? Literally no one on this floor. It feels so empty and alone. So spooky. Will we be able to make it to floor 50 is the question. There we go. There's a slime. Uh, Dwarf Scroll 2. I think that's one we already got. Ooh, there's some iron. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Cool. Beautiful. Hopefully we should have enough soon to be able to upgrade more of our tools. There's another slime. I do want to start breaking those big rocks too because we are clearly going to need more stone and wood and stuff for the buildings. Ooh, there we go. Door scroll three. Gunther can tell us more, which means we need to donate that. Ah, I'm getting slimed. I should probably eat something. Uh, we should probably think about making the kitchen soon, too. Although, I guess there's no rush to making the kitchen because we can make the... What does it take to make the cooking? A uh, cookout kit. It takes 15 wood, 10 fiber, and 3 coal. So that's pretty affordable. But I assume it goes away after you use one. And if we're trying to make... If we're trying to make a ton of food... Uh, a kitchen is probably more worth our time and effort and money. Because those coal do add up. Oh, aquamarine. I think we need that for a bundle. Ah. All right, where is this ladder? Slurp, slurp. There we go. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff going on on this floor. And we finally got our music back. Look at all these crystals. Ah! Bats! Grab this iron. So many slimes, too. Just what we need. Ah, you little ball of fuzz. Okay. Slimes. Okay, we'll definitely make it to 50, right? I say that and I'm going to be on this floor for, like, ever. Frozen Tear, which I think we already... Well, 
I don't remember. I don't remember if we put that in the bundle or not. Another one. Mm, I should probably think about getting a better sword soon, too. There's so much stuff. Yeah, that to-do list mod is... Definitely gonna come in handy if and when I do eventually install it. I need a to-do list mod about how to install this to-do list mod. Is there a mod for for that? <laughs> Is there a mod for my brain that I can make to remind me to do things? <laughs> Yay, 50. Got some new boots. Got some new kicks. Put these on. Yeah. Uh, we should probably call it a night. It's 11.20. Oh, we didn't see the area that got unlocked. We'll just take a quick peek. It's up here, right? So, like, this just got unlocked? With the train station and... What is this dump? Oh, there's like more stuff up here. I don't know how new all that is. Okay, we're gonna have to come back and explore when we have more time. Oh, I wonder how you unlock that stuff. I wonder how late into the game that is. Because I don't think I've ever done that before. And I don't know if that's new to 1.5 or 1.6. Okay. Um, geodes and stuff we can put in here. Um, maybe I should start putting the forgeables and stuff in here too. Yeah, I really need to think about organizing this stuff. Oh, these summer squash seeds we need to plant. Don't I have more of those? Ah, it's 1 a.m. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay. I know, it's so late. Um, let's keep the dwarf scroll in here because we need to donate that. Uh, and we'll sell the dwarf scroll that we already have. Well, uh, let's make sure this is the one we already have. Yeah. And we'll sell the spice berry. We'll keep the sweet peas. Beautiful. The latest 100% lets you go up there. Ah, okay. That's probably why I've never done that before, because I have never 100% of this game. But I guess, like, what counts as 100%, right? Because I doubt that literally marrying everyone is required to 100% this game. I imagine you just have to, like, get to max hearts with, like, one spouse or something. Okay, neutral today, living off the land. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Here's a rundown of the fish you can only find in summer. Dorado, found in the forest rivers during the day. Rainbow trout, found in the forest rivers and in the mountains during the day. Pufferfish, found in the ocean in the afternoon. And octopus, found in the ocean during the morning. Catch them while you can. Uh, this is good to know. Uh, 
Uh, let's cook some more iron. And let's check how many iron we have now. We have four. And if we're making one more right now, we should be able to upgrade our axe. But also, I kind of want to use my axe right now to cut some of these trees. To get some wood. Uh, we'll leave... No, we should take care of the stumps right now, too. Because we do also need to clear out space. I was going to say we should leave the stumps. Because they're not as efficient for getting wood. But... Eventually, you see a chart for perfection. I won't spoil how. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm trying to kind of avoid most spoilers for 1.6. I've already seen some, obviously. Um, and there are some that I do kind of want to know for the sake of, like, you know, making money or... Or whatever. Uh, I don't think we can cut these, right? Oh, no, we can. Oh, okay. I thought we had to be iron to do that. Oh, and we got a book. We got a book for chopping trees. Uh, we've learned a new power. What does that mean? Which power did we learn? Uh, I forgot to check the book to see what power that was. I imagine it's related to chopping trees, though. Oh, we also forgot to water. We just went straight into chopping. How are we already so low on energy? I guess because, like, if you sleep late at night, you wake up with not as much energy. Ah, we're out of water. Yeah, we need to figure out... How to make more food... Energy... Food energy. Uh, can we do like field snacks? Oops. Hmm. We have these two, but we don't have acorns, it looks like. We have one acorn. We can do one field snack. Oh, we have one more acorn in our inventory, it looks like. Okay, we've got two field snacks. Uh, just like in real life when it comes to sleep. Yeah, so real. So real. This is the most realistic game of all time, clearly. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, what are we doing today? Um, uh, Sam, hello. Welcome to the stream. Thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate you being here. Uh, is there anything community center wise we can do? Oh, we need money is like the real thing. Maybe we go fishing. We haven't been fishing in a couple days. So maybe we drop off our axe uh summer foraging oh we should drop off the grape maybe we drop off the grape we drop off the axe fish tank boiler room bulletin board uh i think we just got an aquamarine right we can do that Mm 
Yeah. Yeah, we really need money, actually, because we need to start planting some of these fruit trees, too. I mean, not, like, right away, but soon, you know? Okay. Okay. Let's think for a second. Okay, yeah, so we're, we'll go drop off a grape. And the five iron bar. Oh, we have, like, no energy right now. Let's eat a field snack. And you know what? We should bring some of those jellies. Well, the sea jellies. Because that will help us level up our fishing, too. Oh, we have some more of these here. Let's move them over here. My chests are so disorganized. Okay, but we do still need more acorns, right? In order to make more field snacks. Yeah, I don't think I have acorns. Okay. Okay. Okie doke. Uh, does anyone know when the new update is coming out on Switch? Uh, I mean, he's working on it. I know that it does take some time to figure all that stuff out. I'm not a game developer myself, so I could not tell you what it entails. Uh, but I also know that it's probably best not to rush him. You know, there were bugs that he patched pretty quickly right away when the update came out. So, you know, it shouldn't be too long, but, you know, things take time. Oh, I didn't bring the aquamarine, didn't I? Oh well, we'll deal with that later. But we can drop off the grape and finish off that bundle. Uh, summer foraging. Grape. Yeah, of course. You're welcome. Um, we've got uh, 30 summer seeds. Sorry, I feel like I'm saying um a lot. It's just because it's the end of the day and I'm kind of tired. Uh, I don't really want to plant these seeds though because then I'd have to water them. <laughs> That's a lot of effort. We should probably be picking up the eggs and stuff more often. Oh, it's Jazz's birthday today too, isn't it? Does she like sweet peas? I have that in my inventory. The last time I tried to give a child a gift, it did not go well. I tried to give Vincent a carrot, and he did not like it. Got another lost book. Okay, Clint. Oh, this is going to cost money, though. Ugh, I don't have enough money. Oh, the struggles of being in the early game. Okay. Clearly we need to go fishing. Where is this child? We'll give we'll give her a silver quality. Let's check if she's home. Oh, she's near her house. Great. Let's hope she likes this. Wow, birthday present. I love it. Great. She likes it. That's a win. Yeah, I think we need to desperately do some fishing because we really need money for everything right now. Yes, a field snack. I don't care that it came from the trash. I need it. There's so many girls here today. Hello. Hello, ladies. Ooh, a warp totem for the farm? That's definitely going to come in handy. Oh, Leah's out here doing her art. Oh, we got these summer shells. 
The rainbow shells? Oh, we should probably fix this at some point. 300 pieces. I only have 200 on me right now. Yeah, we need to get more wood. We need to get more money. We need to get more stone. We need to get more iron. So many things that we need to do. Uh, Zoe, hello! If Stardew Valley is so good, why is there no Stardew Valley 2? Leah, my beloved. Uh, yeah, Leah's pretty great. Um, on that note of why is there no Stardew Valley 2, Concerned Ape is actually working on a new game. It's not Stardew Valley 2. Um, uh, it's called Haunted Chocolatier. And there have been a couple of trailers that have come out already. And it looks, you know, obviously vaguely similar to... Oh, gosh, this fish. It looks vaguely similar to Stardew Valley. Like, it's got the pixel art style. There we go. Pufferfish. You slippery little... Um, but it is a new game. And as to why it is not Stardew Valley 2, he just keeps releasing free updates to this game. And he keeps adding more stuff. So there really doesn't need to be a Stardew Valley 2. Honestly, I was surprised that there was even a 1.6 update. Like, 1.5 felt pretty huge. Uh, how are you doing today? You know what day it is today? It's Saturday. It's March 30th. And I'm doing all right. I'm a little tired because it's the end of the day. Oh gosh, this freaking fish is maybe a puffer fish. Ooh, yeah, puffer fish. New record. Yeah, it's like 11 o'clock at night, so I'm a little tired. But other than that, I'm doing all right. You know, it's at least somewhat relaxing to play Stardew Valley when you're not trying to get a puffer fish. It's buy a trans woman a pizza day. I think I did see something about that. Which I think is a great holiday. I think everyone should celebrate. It's 1 a.m. here? Oh my gosh, you're up so late. Let's eat a sea jelly. Yeah, that gave us a lot of energy. What are you doing up so late, Zoe? I hope... I hope I'm not the reason you're staying up. I always encourage people to go to sleep. Ooh, tuna. We need that for the bundle. I don't know how much longer I'll be playing, honestly. Like, maybe one more day, two more days. Art. That's, that's a valid reason to be up late. But also, like, sometimes your art is better after getting a full night's rest. You know what I mean? Taking care of your body and maintaining healthy habits actually helps improve your art. I know. It's such a ripoff and it sucks that, like, exercising and eating healthy and staying mobile and not sitting at your desk all day even though even though it'd be so easy to do that oh we got the treasure chest nice but yes you should also sleep at some point <laughs> uh magical says it's after 2 a.m for me and it's easter today happy easter happy easter to all who celebrate I hope that it's a good day. I don't really celebrate Easter, but for those of you who do, 
I hope you have as good of a day as this moment for me is getting the super cucumber. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Uh, I sleep in the afternoon. Like I took a nap at 11 or 12 and woke up at 4. Okay. It's good that you are getting sleep. But it's also good to have... At least a somewhat consistent sleeping schedule. At least that's what I've been told. Maybe it's just propaganda by Big Sleep. As you know, I have been playing Pokemon Sleep, so... Maybe... I don't know how accurate some of the tips that it gives me is. Uh, we got a Woodcutter's Weekly book from Fishing, which is interesting. Ooh, and we've got new ideas to sleep on, which means we leveled up. Much needed. I'm not going to want to sell a lot of these fish, honestly, because a lot of these fish I want to keep. Perfect fish. A lot of these easy fish are still here. I'm saving to move out, so I gotta work. You know, Zoe, I understand. I understand the grind. I understand the, the, the drive to move out and, you know, work as hard as possible to get there. I totally totally hear what you're saying um you still gotta take care of yourself though <laughs> unfortunately um if you move out and your body is breaking down that actually costs more money at the end of the day believe it or not <laughs> um i highly encourage you to take care of your body i'm honestly i'm trying to do better myself i am not trying to like Pretend that I'm the best at doing these things. But because I'm telling myself I need to do better, I feel the need to say it out loud. At least for my own sake. Ah, this fish! Ah! Oh my gosh, it's getting away from me. Ah, dang it. That was probably another puffer fish. Uh, do you think some of the fish will help you with your bundles? Yeah, I've definitely gotten a couple that I need for some of the bundles. I think the puffer fish is one I need for a bundle and the tuna. So I definitely want to keep those ones. And the super cucumber I want to keep too. Because I think that's valuable somewhere later down the line. And once we're able to build a fish pond, then it'll be very easy to duplicate these fish. Uh, TBH, once I'm out, I'm taking a month for myself. That's, uh, that's a great idea. I always encourage taking extended breaks. Whether you take a week off or two weeks off or like a month off. It's always good to, you know, decompress completely before getting back into things. Uh, if you hover over in your inventory, the community center icon will shake. Yes. I do know that trick. Thank you for reminding me, Jay. Yeah, good for you, Zoe. I completely agree. Okay, yeah, we need to start heading back. We're out of energy. We're out of time. Oop. Ah, oh, that was close to perfect, but it's okay. 
And we used our last piece of bait. Wow, we ran out of everything, like, at the same time. That's kind of funny. We did have a little bit more bait, but... No more energy. And no more time. The time thing is really the main factor here. We could have eaten more food for energy, but... We gotta get back. The warp totem was a great find, though. That'll definitely come in handy. Only need, like, $800. You can do it, Zoe. I believe in you. The grind is tough, but... You can make it. Okay, let's sell some of these fish. Uh, I don't think I need the red mullet for a bundle or anything. Uh, we'll keep the puffer fish. We'll sell these guys. We'll keep the super cucumber. We'll keep the tuna. Let me double check here. The tuna, yeah, the tuna we need for the community center. The puffer fish we also need for the community center. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll... You know what? I'm going to make another chest. Mm. I'm going to put the fish in this chest. I'll put it back here. I'll make it blue. Uh, we'll make it this blue. We'll make it this blue. And we'll put all of our fish that we want to keep in here. I think I had a couple eels somewhere too. Yeah, we can put that eel in there too. Stay somewhat organized. Okay. Um, the seeds we'll put away here. Okay. Nice. Slowly but surely getting a bit more organized, just like how I am in, in real life, too. There are some ways in which Stardew Valley is very similar to real life. Uh, Magical says, I'm not an artist, but that sounds like a lot of art commissions to do. Yeah, that does sound like a lot. Cool. We leveled up foraging. We can finally craft the tapper. That's awesome. Um, we got a new crafting recipe, mushroom log. That's interesting. That's new. And then wild seeds. Okay, about 2,500 from fishing. That's not nothing. It's pretty substantial. It's going to be sunny tomorrow. Spirits are displeased today. Wonderful. Um, we have our watering can already. Get all of our crops watered. Oh, there's like a, f there's some uh, grass getting in the way here. Gotta make sure that doesn't ruin our crops. Oh, we're out of water. All right. I think today, this uh, Friday, this in-game day, is going to be the last day that I play because it is about 11.30 now. So by the time I wrap up this day, it's going to get close to midnight. So I feel like that is a good time to wrap up. Uh, let's check on our chickens while we're at it. These guys are happy. Oops. I didn't mean to lock you out. 
Oh, and we need the brown egg, the big brown egg for the bundle too, so. Good that we found one. Uh, looks like you made enough to upgrade your axe, but you could leave you low on money if you do that. Yeah, we have a lot we need to build and a lot that we need to spend money on. So we have to be, like, considerate about what we're spending. Uh, we want to keep the brown egg. And the other eggs. We'll sell the silver eggs, though. Uh, anything else we need to donate? Uh, one of these. Hardwood. Uh, the crystal fruit we'll deal with later. When we do the winter stuff. Uh, we have 69 slime. Nice. But also we need some more. Uh, let's pop an egg in the mayo machine while we're at it. Okay. Uh, let's just keep the egg... Let's keep the egg in here for now. Hopefully that will remind me that we need to donate it. We also have this other... We have a couple of things we need to donate, actually. Uh, realistic financial situations forcing you to prioritize purchases. Yeah, that's another aspect of Stardew Valley that's way too close to real life. Uh, yeah, what do we want to upgrade right now? We could start making some tappers, right? Uh, 40 wood. Oh, we really need wood. So maybe we don't want to upgrade our axe right away. We do have a little bit of time. We just need to have our axe upgraded, like, in summer sometime. So it's only summer 5. And summer 28 is the end of the season. So we have a little bit of time. Maybe we just chop some wood. Yeah. Oh, we can already make the recycling machine. The recycling machine. For some reason, I didn't think we could. Oh yeah, what is this? Mushroom log. 10 hardwood and 10 moss. Grows mushrooms every so often. The more wild trees are nearby, the better it works. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Okay, I think we're just going to chop some trees right now. It'll help us clear up the farm. Oh, you know what we also have to do? We have to buy a cow or something because we got our barn, didn't we? Oh, shoot, that stuff is too far away. Um, didn't we build a barn? Isn't that done by now? Uh, no, it sounds like Robin's still working on it. I can hear her hammering away. Where is she building? Where did I put this barn? Where is she? Robin, where are you? Oh my god, there's so much to this farm. Okay. Would I be able to see her on the map? No. Where did I put this barn? Uh, I put it... In a grassy area? Yeah. Oh, here it is. Here she is. Here she is. All right. Let's clear up a little bit around here, too. Uh, so she's still building. 
let's let's do a little bit of tree chopping. Oh shoot, we lost all that wood in the water. No. Um, let's do a little bit of tree chopping. And then maybe we do give our pickaxe or our axe rather to Clint, because that is also gonna make the chopping easier. So maybe we don't do too much chopping right now. Uh, and then maybe I was gonna say like we should go get a cow, but we can't yet. Oh, here's a more here's another uh, mossy. Got some more moss, nice. I wonder if that like only comes up in summer or something, because I didn't see any of that in the spring. Oh, I should be chopping down the trees that give me acorns, because then I could make more field snacks. Yeah, so I'm thinking we do just give our axe to Clint, just to make all this easier. And then maybe just, like, do another day of fishing. kind of what I'm thinking right now. Cut a tree near your orange tree so you can see it. Oh, yeah. I should cut this these trees. Yeah, our orange tree is slowly growing. Okay. <laughs> I'm very low on energy. Drink some more mayonnaise. Okay, let's... I have 358 wood. Put the sap in there. I do also have this energy tonic that restores, like, just all my energy pretty much. But I don't want to waste that right now. I'll probably want to use that, like, in an emergency. Is there anything I could use for food? Uh, don't I have some jellies? Yeah. Yeah, I think we just go for the upgrade. Because that's just going to be... We're going to do it anyway, right? So we might as well. And then we can just go fish to just try to get some money back. I think that's the plan. I think that's the plan, because we really need money. I do want to go to the mines to get more slime. But we're still like 30 away. Uh, Gus's birthday is coming up next on the 8th. Oh, we need iron for the axe. Yes, thank you for reminding me, Magical. Oh my gosh. You are so much better with your memory than I am. Also, Clint is looking for something, so that actually works out in our favor. I'm looking for someone to bring me five coals to aid in the understanding of minerals. Oh, but do we have to mine the this coal fresh? Okay. Well, let's go grab the iron that we need. Gosh, it's like 2 a.m. for you, and you're even better than remembering than I am. <laughs> okay. Um, where did we put our iron? Here it is. And then the coal. Zero out of five collected. Okay, yeah, so it does have to be new coal. I 
really don't have any other, like, food. Hmm. I guess some of these leeks could be okay. But I do also want to give them as presents. But maybe I should just take a few. Because I want to save the jellies for when I'm actually fishing. Five coal should be relatively easy to get. Uh, but Clint is going to close soon, too. Dang it. I actually don't know if we're going to be able to make it to him on time. I think he closes at four. If we had the minecarts unlocked... This is what happens. This is another way that Stardew Valley is similar to real life is that I also f frequently don't have a plan for the day and then I just end up like going back and forth between different things and then wasting a bunch of time. Yeah, he closed at 4 p.m. Just as I thought and it's 4.10. Let's just go do some fishing. There's a fishing spot here. Wait for these people to cross. Getting fish very quickly. I do see a dig spot off to the side too. Well, this is an exciting way to, you know, spend a final day of a stream. But I think it's kind of fitting for the energy I have right now to just be fishing instead of, like, doing something more crazy like being in the mines. Ooh, a pike. That's new. We're running low on energy. I'll go ahead and eat one of the sea jellies. Okay, our fish spot is gone. I was about to give up, and then something showed up right when I clicked. Oop. Oop. Another pike. Let's grab this dig spot. More clay. I feel like we kind of always need clay, so I'm not going to complain. Let's go to the ocean. Oh, do we have enough wood? I didn't bring my wood with me. It would be probably in our best interest to unlock that bridge. All right. Well, hopefully I remember at the start of next stream. Speaking of next stream, um, I am planning on doing some experimental segments, I guess you could call them. And I was saying earlier, but maybe there's more of you now, but I was saying earlier that I think tomorrow I'm going to do a stream kind of like either in the morning or early afternoon. And my plan is to do some of these segments, a little bit of Stardew. Um, oh, gosh. This seems like a puffer fish or something. 
So I hope that you'll join for that stream if you happen to be free. And I would love to get like feedback and suggestions and ideas for Ooh, a super cucumber. That's why it was so slippery. Um, yeah, so the stream that I'm most likely going to do tomorrow, um, I would love to get like feedback and thoughts and ideas on some of the some of the things I want to try. I don't want to give too much away, but basically like I want to have some discussions and some fun interactive segments potentially. Sam is back. Well, I was just kind of saying how I'm going to be wrapping up soon, but I appreciate you coming back. And thank you all, everyone who stopped by the stream today. Really, I appreciate it a lot. I know that it, it was a little later than usual tonight. Uh, we used our last piece of bait and I don't have any on me. I forgot to bring my bait crafting materials. So this is going to be a slow ride out into the night. Oh, close to perfect, but not quite. I'm starting to feel exhausted. Uh, I think we'll eat one more sea jelly. Oop, another slippery one. Sea cucumber? Up. Up. Oh my gosh, come on. Come on. Oh my gosh, come on! I'm gonna lose it, aren't I? No? Maybe? Oh my gosh, this is taking forever. Come on! Oh my gosh. Ah! You slippery... Oh my gosh. Come on. Oh my gosh, come on. We're so close! Yes, okay. This freaking sea super cucumber. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll do one more, um, one more sea jelly. Ugh, okay. These sea cucumbers, maybe I'll sell a couple of them now that I've gotten a few because I think they're worth a decent amount of money. <sighs> well, I hope you all have a good rest of your night. Um, get some rest for those of you who are staying up late. Um, like I was saying, tomorrow I would really love if you happen to be free and want to tune in. Um, I do want to be trying some new stuff on stream. It's not going to be anything too crazy. I just want to try some stuff that I've been workshopping in my head, essentially. And, you know, you never know. You know, if you have, like, a kind of initial idea, you never know how it will build into something else. So, yeah, thank you, Magical, for be in here. All right. Maybe we'll do one more fish and then head back to the farm and wrap up the stream. Sounds interesting. Yeah. I don't want to overhype anything because like I said, it's just very much in the early stages of ideas. But yeah, I think it could potentially be something fun once the edges are a little sanded down and the kinks are worked out. 
but we'll never get to that place where it works until we try stuff out and see what does and doesn't work. All right, definitely going to sell some of these fish. I think we can sell the sunfish. I think we already got that in the bundle. Let's double check. Yeah, we don't need any of these for a bundle. Do I want to keep anything, though? Let's keep one more super cucumber so we'll have two on us. And we'll just sell the other two, I think. We'll keep the rainbow shell. And we'll sell everything else. Yeah. Uh, it's 6 a.m. here, also Easter, and I just got my gifts. Well, I, that's awesome, <laughs> Sam. Super early in the morning. Um, but yeah, hope you have a good Easter to everyone who celebrates. Um, hope you all have a good Sunday. Whether, I don't know why I'm checking the weather again. I need to go to sleep. Go to sleep for the night and also go to sleep for the night in real life. Um, yeah, have, have a happy Easter. Have a happy Sunday. Have a good week if I don't see you. Um, we made 3,000 gold, which is not too shabby. And I'm off to do what my Stardew Valley character is doing right now and go sleep in real life. So thank you all again for hanging out. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Hope to see you again soon. Stay safe and take care, everyone. Goodbye for now. Bye.